Welcome to Grumpy Man's Reviews and welcome to my full review and demonstration of the Hoover H3500 Pets Energy Cordless Stick Vacuum Cleaner. I have already done an unboxing video of this vacuum cleaner. I also went through part by part and I did assembly and I explained everything else. So if you want to see that video, I will leave a link in the description box below. If you want to pick this up, I will also leave a link in the description box below for this. There will also be a pop-up card of other vacuum cleaners that I've reviewed and there will be links in the description box below. I'll just quickly show you around and then we'll get on with the demonstration. That's the tube H3500. Good thing about this vacuum cleaner is it stands up by itself. It looks nice. And the parts are well made you get a pet tool this is really good for your car foot wells you get two batteries one on the vacuum cleaner and one there good thing about these batteries is of course they are removable or you can charge the vacuum cleaner if you want. you also do get a stand if you want to mount the vacuum cleaner like that but there's no need for me to do that because I charge one while I use the other one I've got this little rubber part here at the bottom of the head Hoover say use these two, uh, they gave, there's another one as well, they say use them and you'll get better performance, do not do that, I use them, when I was vacuuming on hard floor, the rubbish was just knocking back forth, back forth, I immediately removed them after that, so I won't be using them. At the bottom them. the brush part is removable, you just click that, it comes out and then you could clean all the hair and stuff around it. There is a bit of um, extra pieces there, so it's not good for edge to edge cleaning. Onto the main unit itself. It's got a nice rubber grip, on off button there, turbo mode, but beware if you use turbo mode, it will take up a lot of battery. And for carpets, that's, when you push the carpet button, the brush bar will start rolling. When you push it off, the brush bar will stop rolling. So if you're on a hard floor, they recommend don't use the brush bar. And if you're on um, carpets and stuff, of course, use the brush bar. Bit of branding there. Good thing about this vacuum cleaner is all the tools are built in. That's your crevice tool, which is rather small and then you've got your dusting brush there and if you want to twist it around, you turn it around, you've got your upholstery tool. Let me just push that back. That also mounts up onto the stick so you can stand it up. It's a self-standing vacuum cleaner by the way. I forgot to mention if you haven't seen my um, other video and it collapses down to 69 centimeters. So if you do have a small apartment, this will be perfect for you. To empty the bin, you just push that button down, that flap opens all the stuff comes out and then you just close it back over there you could see lock on and lock off so if you twist it off I'm not doing it now because it's got a bit of uh, just in it. that all comes off all this is washable it's got a filter in there and you can wash it even the shroud and stuff you can wash everything give it 24 hours to dry and then assemble it back but if you only have one vacuum and you want to carry on using it I would suggest buy extra uh, filter so then that way you can wash the filter and while that's drying you can use uh, this one battery status and power so if I just turn it on that's normal mode when I push the turbo button you can hear the pitch of the motor get louder because of course it's into turbo mode but it does consume more battery power that way okay let me put some stuff down on the hard floor and on the carpet I've put down some crisps and some rolled oats so let me just assemble it for this Test, I will be leaving the brush bar off because of course it's hard floor and that's what they suggest. Okay, as you can see there, that is a bit of a disaster. I have left the brush bar off it's just pushed everything to a side. So I will be turning the brush bar on now. A lot better. It's doing a lot better, but it's still scattering it around because you can see there's a lot stuck there as well. And that hasn't gone too well. So I'll have to turn to the hand part unit here. Where I just turn it on. And I pick it on for this again, it's not picking much up, so I'll have to use the turbo button. Okay, so clearly he hasn't done good on hard floor. Let's 
move over to the carpet. You can see there's less crisps and uh, rolled oats here because I already tried this but it failed, the, mach the motor went really loud and it started getting hot. So the first thing I checked was obviously for blockages and yes it was blocked. The head at the bottom, if you can, let me just show you there, at the bottom that was all blocked and so were the pipe because of course this rug that I've got it's still letting fibres out because it was a new piece of rug that I got. I only got it to test vacuum cleaners. That's why if it's your first time and you're wondering why I've got a rug on top of a rug, that's the reason I got it because this is a thick pine rug. So that's been letting a lot of its fibre out. And plus where my daughter's been using it in her room, that's a thick pine carpet as well. That clogged up and the rice and oats were too much for it. So I'm going to redo this again now. So I, at this time I'm not going to put too much. So I'm just leaving it as it is. And of course for this, I will be turning the brush part on the front head does have LED lights which is good so if you're uh, vacuuming when it's dark or something and uh, or you're going some furniture it's really good for that you can see where the dirt is as you can see it's done a lot better on carpet so let me just clean this up and then I'll sum the vacuum up So there we go, that's the end of my demonstration of the Hoover H53 cordless stick whack. Overall, what do I think of it? On hard floors, it's not as good. Yeah, admittedly, I did have a lot of crisps and stuff on the floor. But for carpets, it's really good. Definitely recommend it for that. At the time I'm making this video, which is December 2019, I'm sure you'll be able to pick it up in sales. Last time I checked, this vacuum cleaner was available for £200. For £200, it's definitely worth it because you do get a lot with, with it and especially two batteries. The main thing I like about it is the removable battery. That is absolutely fantastic. Plus the size, the way it collapses down, that's really good That because a lot of the vacuums I've reviewed that are cordless, they do not stand up by themselves. That is an issue for me because there's nowhere to really store them then. But this is perfect. Either way, even if it's at its full size, it still stands up by itself. The tools are all on board which makes this vacuum cleaner difficult if you want to use it on your car because of course when you're using the uh, the pet tool it's good for your car foot wells and stuff but in between the center console it makes it difficult because that crevice tool you can see there it's not the best of sizes there. but it is good in terms of it gives you a lot of freedom rather than carrying other tools around everything is there it's just one vacuum cleaner take it around you could clean your whole house it's not as powerful, but for the price, for £200, it's worth it. If it jumps back up to around £300, I wouldn't pick it up then. I'd wait till it drops down to £200. For that, it's worth it. My friends, as always, thank you very much for watching. If this video did help you out, please give it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time, you do consider subscribing because I do different product review videos every week. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.